Hey everyone, it's a girl Jacqueline. I'm finally making videos again after who knows how long. It's been like over six months, I think. But I'm finally back here again and I'm going to show you my skincare routine as you saw from the title. But in this video, I'm also gonna address some things like why I disappeared for what it feels like forever and also the changes that I will make to my channel and also basically just life update and it's been quite a while so I'm very sorry if I look kind of like stiff or like that I'm actually kind of nervous which is something that never happened when I'm filming which is new but yeah, it feels really really good to be back and you have so many things to catch up on and so many things that I need to tell you so sit down and grab a snack or something like that and just enjoy the video alright so I've zoomed in a little bit so you can see my face better and first thing first I always wear my favorite bandana it's this alien one if you watch my videos like since last year or something you would know that I absolutely love this bandana and I will have the link in the description link below and I don't know whether this is like available on Amazon or something like that but if you're Indonesian and you have Shopee I'll provide the link below and please keep in mind that those are affiliate links so like what I briefly mentioned at the introduction I will make some changes in my channel and that includes the language and why am I switching to English because a I want to reach like a larger audience and two so my friends in Australia can understand me and can watch my videos and I just find it easier for me to have or like to edit Indonesian subtitle compared to making English subtitles. I don't know, it's just easier for me. And last but not least, I think it's kinda helping my public speaking skills, so I guess why not? But yeah, for my Indonesian fellas, don't worry, I will try my best to provide Indonesian subtitles. It will surely take some time, but I want my old audience still being able to watch my videos until now because I wouldn't be here without you guys and to you who still want to watch my videos even after me disappearing for six months or even more thank you thank you so much I literally cannot thank you enough the fact that you decided to click on this video even though again I've disappeared I just eternally grateful for you but anyway getting back to the skincare I'm gonna start with my cellar water because I'm just using some sunscreen and powder so I don't really need like a lot of cleansing if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna use a micellar water by Garnier. This is the micellar cleansing water all in one and this one is the 700 milliliter because it's just more affordable if I buy the gigantic one and I use it almost every single day. But if I'm wearing makeup, I will use this All Clean Balm by Hymish. I've been wearing this and so far it's doing such a great job. But like what I said, I'm only using sunscreen and powder on my face right now. So I'm going to use this product. I always use cotton round for the micellar water. So I just pour some in here and just swipe it on my face. It's literally as easy as that. Also, I'm going to talk to you about why I disappeared for such a long time so basically I experienced burned out which is very very common for content creator and if you watch my two latest videos you would know that I just moved to Australia for university and it's such a big change in my life that I feel like I need to give all of my focus to that I don't know it was just like very overwhelming so I decided to you know step aside from YouTube and I ended up taking longer break than I intended to. I think it was because I was restricting myself to only posting makeup and skincare videos back when I was in Indonesia but don't get me wrong I still absolutely love makeup and skincare I'm still going to talk about it now but I'm going to not really restrict myself to those contents because I feel like Indonesians would prefer me if I make review videos and that also applies to brands that I've worked with so I was kind of like stuck in making review videos again I do like making them I love sharing my opinions to all of you but it can be really not boring it can easily make you feel burned out if you make the same type of content like over and over again I think that's one of the reasons why I felt burned out and I kind of lost my passion to make videos about skincare and makeup but now that I've been here for like a year and I've been starting to figure out some things things are slightly more stable than last year because I was literally alone in a new continent so it was like quite crazy but 
yeah now it's a bit more stable so i feel like i can make videos now hopefully crossing my fingers and after having some good old rest um you know some little break from youtube i feel like the passion to make the skincare and makeup videos are finally back but yeah i will not restrict myself to only making review videos i will probably make some commentary videos if i would like to share my opinion on something i would also make maybe like some book contents because i absolutely love books and i'll probably make more vlogs if, it, if that's possible yeah basically just like more restricted and i want to have a little bit more freedom for myself so i will not feel burnt out like previous on also i just finished using my micellar water so i'm gonna move on to face wash for face wash i have two products the first one is matcha hydrating foam cleanser by b lab and the other one is something low ph gentle jelly cleanser so B Lab is a Korean brand and something is an Indonesian brand and I have these two because I would like to have two cleansers in different locations. I usually use the something one at night that's why I put it in the shower because I always do my facial cleanser while I'm in the shower and I put this one right beside the sink because I use it in the morning. And since I'm filming this in the evening, I'm gonna wear the something low pH jelly gentle cleanser and I can make a review if you want me to. I can make a review in Indonesian and give you English subtitles just in case my friends would like to watch it. But yeah, for my fellow Indonesians, if you want me to make a review about this, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna use this cleanser off screen because it's just easier that way and I'm pretty sure you know how to use facial cleanser because all of you are smart. All right, now as you can tell, I just washed my face and I'm gonna move on to toner. And I've been using this Madagascar Centella Hilosika Brightening Toner by Skin 1004. I almost finished this one bottle and I already ordered another bottle and it's on its way. So yeah, as you can tell, I really, really like this toner. It has hyaluronic, which is very, very good to hydrate the skin. And it has Sika, which is very good for calming the skin. That's why I absolutely love this toner because it makes my skin feels hydrated and calm at the same time. And it doesn't have any perfume or any colorant so it's safe for sensitive skin but it doesn't mean that your skin will love this product because every skin will react differently to different products it's just like slightly you know more safe for sensitive skin because it doesn't have perfume colorant alcohol all that jazz but yeah, i just use my hand to apply it on my face I'm gonna apply a little bit more for my neck and i bought this through like a website that sells korean brand skincare and makeup it's very very well known but i just forgot the name but i'm gonna link it in the description below if you're in australia and i'm gonna put the link for shopee if you're indonesian but yeah i'm gonna put the link for every products that i use in this video just in case you want to try it and you know maybe your skin will love it too and then i just kind of like pat it in and still on the topic of me suddenly disappearing i would like to apologize for that i feel that i should have at least say something to all of you because you chose to subscribe to my channel you chose to follow my you know follow my videos and watch them and trust me i feel like i should have said something that oh i'm taking a break or something like that i don't know i feel like i just should have said something and i'm really really sorry that i didn't do that i feel like i have kind of failed as a content creator because i couldn't post videos regularly and i disappear without saying anything so i would like to apologize to all of you for that and i will try my absolute best to post let's say two videos a month so like i have two weeks to produce one video now that i don't have a job or internship but if it's like really really busy i'm gonna try at least one video a month hopefully it will work out this time Hopefully, everything goes well. I actually tried to upload a video around December and January. So I went to Phillip Island, which is a small island in Australia. And I filmed a vlog there and I tried editing it. I guess that I still felt burnt out. So that's why I couldn't even like finish editing it. But I will try to put the video out very very soon after i put this out i know there's a lot of like i'm gonna try i'm gonna try but that's basically all i can do all i can do is just try also if you notice there's a scar on my hand and that's because i burned myself when i was using the oven it's now healing so do not worry 
I'm completely fine. Now I'm gonna move on to serum. I'm using the Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Tone Brightening Capsule Ampule. I know that it says ampule, but I feel like serum and ampule are more or less the same. It's basically filled with concentrated ingredients. So I use this as a serum and it works perfectly fine. I've been using this for over a year. If you remember that I posted a video, a sponsored video with Skin 104 regarding their tone brightening series, which is this one, and you can click the video somewhere over here. I specifically still use the serum because it works really, really well on my skin. It helps to soothe any irritation and it also helps to brighten up acne scars that I usually have around my chin and you can see the before after too in that video and what I also love about the serum is that it's a hundred milliliters so it will last me like around six months which I absolutely love so I don't have to buy this every two or three months like any other skincare but yeah, I usually just put like one drop on my right cheek one drop on my left cheek and one on my forehead and also, if you have like a serum with a dropper, make sure that you don't touch the dropper with your skin. Like, do not press it onto your skin because we want to avoid any bacteria sticking onto it and then contaminating the product. So I just blend it using my finger, just gently blending in. No need to be harsh to your skin. Your skin is very, very delicate, especially around the eyes. So I just tap it in over there. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more into my neck please do not forget your neck because we do not want to have like a firm face but a soggy neck i've seen like the picture and i'm like oof don't forget your neck all right next step is essence i do not use this every single night i usually just use it if i want to use it or if i feel that my skin needs more hydration so if i feel like my skin just needs that extra boost of hydration and to make it more plump i'm gonna use this product and it's the benton snail be high content essence like its name it has snail mucus and also bee venom which have some benefits on your skin i'm gonna put over here i usually just put around two pumps also you need to see the texture it's very jelly like it's quite thick i i really like the texture but yeah i just put it over here spread it all over my face and on my neck like what i did with the serum and it has this like very cooling sensation probably because it's gel and it's winter so it's very refreshing to my face too. I realized that whenever I use this, my face will be more hydrated and more plumped in the morning compared to if I don't use it. So why not take the extra step that can make your skin super glowy and plump and healthy? Oh, also I bought this essence with the serum. So it's basically the same website. And again, I sound like a broken record right now. I have the link in the description below. You can tell that my face is getting more glowy and I absolutely love that. We love glowy face. Shine bright Shine like a diamond. I absolutely love this product. And there's actually a newer formula. I didn't know that when I bought this. There's like the 2023 formula and I just bought it too. So it should be here like in any days. And I will probably make a comparison like the old one versus new or just a classic review. Because you have to know more about this product because I absolutely love love it also i'm gonna let all of the skincare to soak into my skin a little bit or well, i'll give you some live updates because if you notice this background is slightly different than the one that i posted over six months ago when i just arrived in australia and that's because i just moved into another place so that used to be my apartment and now i live in a house alongside with two other friends but yeah it's my new space and as you can see it's not a plain white background like it used to be because i only rented the apartment for six months so i didn't dare to put anything up meanwhile this lease is about one and a half years so yeah i'm putting some stuff to spice things up like for example this tea poster that i bought in ballarat which is a very beautiful suburb it's only like three hour train ride and then there's a rack of basically my taylor swift albums there are folklore evermore midnights and also speak now taylor's version and also very fragrant bath and body works hand sanitizer that i collected because that helps me to calm down whenever i face very very rude and annoying customers but yeah because of that i have a mini collection of my bath and body works hand sanitizer all because of a waitress job 
Okay, I feel that my skin is already drinking and soaking all of those beautiful skincare. So I'm gonna continue the next step, which is moisturizer. For moisturizer, I'm using CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. And I don't think that I will change my moisturizer because it is really really affordable compared to other products especially korean moisturizers and it has hyaluronic acid again which help retain skin's natural moisture it also has ceramide which is very very good at repairing and protecting your skin barrier skin barrier is the key to healthy skin so make sure that you're taking care of your skin barrier and yeah ceramide is really good at protecting and maintaining it i usually use a pump oh i'm running out of it Damn. Oh, there we go. This is slightly too much, but it's okay. I'm gonna put it some over here, like basically like what I did to my essence. So the texture is like in between cream and gel. So it's not too creamy, but it's also not a true gel, which I actually really, really like because sometimes cream is too heavy for my skin because I have combination normal to oily skin and sometimes that's just too heavy. But sometimes gel is too light if it's winter or autumn so this is a perfect combination of those two and i just blend it in and it doesn't feel greasy on my skin which i really really appreciate because again i have oily skin and my forehead will be as shiny as a mirror ball after like two hours applying something usually don't forget to give love to your neck too also, I have some exfoliating products. The first one is Avo Skin Miraculous Refining Toner that has AHA, BHA, PHA, Niacinamide, 2% Tea Tree, Witch Hazel, and Aloe Vera. If you know me, I absolutely love this toner. I've used this since maybe two years ago. I also made a review about it. You can click it somewhere over here. But basically, I use this when I feel that my skin needs some exfoliation. Like what I mentioned before, it has AHA, which is good at exfoliating the surface of the skin and then BHA which is really really good at you know deep cleaning the pores so you have problems with whiteheads and blackheads I feel that BHA would really really help that and it has PHA which is just like a boost of you know exfoliation because it's really really gentle it also has 2% tea tree which is amazing for acne prone skin but I'm not gonna use this tonight because it's not exfoliating day so I usually have like some dedication days for exfoliation and if you wear this please don't forget to wear sunscreen the next day because it will make your skin more sensitive to sun because that's what chemical exfoliators do. I also have another exfoliating product which is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Solution. So this is just salicylic acid and I use this if I feel like my nose is filled with blackheads and whiteheads and I find that this is really really helpful. I usually use the Dear Me Beauty 2% salicylic acid plus lemon extract if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, they basically gave me two of their serums and I really really like the salicylic acid one so I still use it basically until... I ran out of it and I couldn't buy it from Indonesia so I bought the Ordinary instead. I actually prefer that formula compared to the salicylic acid because I feel that the Ordinary one makes my skin grease easier if that makes sense. Meanwhile, if I use the Dear Me Beauty one, it doesn't make my skin too greasy even three hours after applying it so i actually prefer that one so if you're indonesian i recommend that one over the ordinary one but this one is also still great if you don't have that option because you do not live in indonesia i'm running out of breath but i'm almost done i promise the last step is actually the game changer ultimate eye concentrate gel by something i also bought this from indonesia i don't use this every single night because i tend to forget it but i do not forget it this time so i'm gonna use it I just put a little bit on my ring finger and then just gently tap it under my eye. This really helps freshen up my under eye, especially if you're a university student, which I'm pretty sure, you know, that we sometimes sleep really, really late. So I find this really, really helpful. But yeah, I'm actually done with my skincare. So those are my skincare routine specifically night skincare routine all right that's it for my skincare routine my skin is looking really healthy and plump and really glowy which i really really love but yeah like what i said previously many many times i have the link in the description box below if you're indonesian the link will go directly to shopee meanwhile if you're in australia i might put some links from all over the place maybe like amazon 
some website that I used to buy some Korean beauty stuff. So yeah, just I'll, I'll try my best to put everything if it's available in Australia. But obviously if it's Indonesian products, I cannot provide it to you. So I'm very, very sorry about that. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And please comment down below what videos do you want me to make because it takes so while to get some ideas on what videos I should make. So I would really, really appreciate some video ideas down below. And yeah, I'll see you very, very soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.